Hello and welcome to Hollywood Headlines. I'm your host, Kamari Clark, and tonight we have a special edition Disney-themed episode. More on that to follow, but first, let's talk the latest news in Hollywood, starting with the new Disney Wish film. Hollywood Headlines starts right now. Before we get into the show, I would like to take a moment to thank Julian Meekly for being today's guest. Julian, could you tell us a bit more about your costume tonight? Yes, I am Miss Charlotte from Princess and the Frog, your bestie. Yay! Um, growing up when they were younger throughout the film, and it's a cute little, little duet. Yeah, Tiana and Lottie, everyone. We love it. <laughs> the next upcoming movie released for Disney will be called Wish. It is set to release exclusively in movie theaters across the globe on November 22nd, with it being on track to make over $50 million when it releases. The film is about Asha, who wishes upon a falling star, and because of that, doesn't get exactly what she wishes for. Asha will be played by West Side Story actress Ariana DeBoyce, with the lead villain Valentino being played by Chris Pine. This film will also mark Disney's 62nd animated film ever made, as the company just recently turned 100 in October. It'll include Easter eggs and legacy nods to previous famous Disney films. Jules, have you seen the trailer for this yet? Yes, I have seen the trailer for it. Yeah, what do you um, think? I think it's really cute. It, it comes from the, I saw it as the same creators from Frozen. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited to see how there's similar elements in both films. Um, but I think it looks really good and it, it reminds me a lot, obviously, of Frozen and also Encanto. I feel like there's a lot of um, similar character development just by watching wow. the trailer. And like, I feel like if that's what I see just watching the trailer, I wonder how like the rest of the film would be impacted by the creators. Yeah, they give a good amount of the plot in the yeah. trailer too. Like mm -hmm. it looks a little different. Yeah. Similar to some of our past animated films, but yeah. definitely some some good little, I don't know, juicy plot lines. Yeah, I yeah. I, I feel like there's a splash of evil, which I feel like is a iconic plot line in every single Disney film. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm excited to see how this one plays out. I think it'll be really good. Yeah. How do you think it'll compare to the other Disney movies that you've seen? That's tricky. Well, like I said, it definitely gives off like Frozen vibes. Mm -hmm. um, but I think coming from Disney history, each film has its own its own little like area that it can be discovered in. Um, and I think I think people are really gonna love it. Yeah, so I'm yeah. excited for it. Me Maybe too. Maybe seeing it in theaters. Yes, definitely. Okay, on Thanksgiving or after? Ooh, probably after Thanksgiving. Yeah? Yeah. See, my family, we always go to the movie theater after like Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, really? Yeah, as long as it's like open and like we Reasonable. like the movies in there. Then yeah, we'll yeah, go. That's Same cute. Same for Christmas sometimes. That's cute. Yeah, that's a good little family tradition. I love it. <laughs> when we come back from the break, we'll be talking all things Disney 100. Hollywood headlines will be right back. The Walt Disney Company is celebrating 100 years of making magic. October 16th marked the 100th anniversary of the Disney Company, created by Walt Disney back in 1923. Disney is currently creating more magic than ever by including extra surprises for the park's guests during this very magical celebration. Epcot is having Meet Disney Friends at the park's main entrance, along with other character meet and greets all throughout the four parks and resorts. Along with these special activities, Disney has numerous locations on property selling 100th anniversary merchandise and food. This can definitely be seen in Ep Epcot's Food and Wine Festival currently taking place from July 27th through November 18th of 2023. Jules, are you a big Disney fan? I am a huge Disney fan. Yeah. I definitely grew up with it watching um, all the original movies. Um, and it made a huge impact on my life mm -hmm. and, you know, what I like to do. Um, so, yeah, I definitely am a huge Disney fan. Do you have a favorite, like, Disney character, movie, I mean, show? my favorite movie has to be Princess and the Frog. Yeah. I fell in love with the soundtrack. <laughs> and then ever since I watched the first movie, um, I really want to take my dad to Louisiana. Yeah. Um, we both love cooking a lot. And I was inspired by that movie. 
obviously a lot. So it mean it means a lot. Mm -hmm. And my mom really loves it too. So it's really fun to watch it with her. That would be so nice. Yeah. Have you ever visited the parks by chance? I have visited the parks. Um, last fall, I actually did a Disney College program, and I lived down there for five months. I worked oh my at goodness. I worked at uh, Disney Hollywood Studios. Okay. Yeah. In their outdoor food and food and beverage scene. So I was outside in the heat. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I met mm -hmm. many friends from all over the world, um, and I, I would love to go back. I miss it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like go on the rides when you were down there? Yeah. So as a favorite. Ooh. <laughs> a favorite ride. Mm -hmm. Does it have to be from studios? Or can it be from? No, it can be from anywhere. Okay. Probably my favorite ride is Guardians of the Galaxy in Epcot, okay. which is the new one. Well, recently, not that new, but I that one's a lot I of fun. I was like seven. Really? Yeah, and I did not like most. Of Really? Yeah, because I was scared. <laughs> oh, that's valid. That's valid. Some, some are not, not for little, little kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. But I do love Disney still. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so do I. In honor of Disney 100 and it being Halloween week here at MUTV, we have a special edition episode tonight. For the remainder of tonight's episode, we'll be testing Julianne's Disney knowledge with some games and trivia, starting with trivia. Julianne. You'll have five seconds to answer the Disney question. Oh, no. And if you're correct, you'll get a point. Okay. You think you're ready? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Your first question is, what year was the Walt Disney Company founded? 1923. Correct. <laughs> All right. Number two. <laughs> what is one of Cinderella's stepsisters' names? Anastasia and Drizella. Yeah, you got them both. Oh. Okay, that's like double points. Oh, okay, cool. You have three now. You have an extra point. Works for me. <laughs> What is the definition of Hakuna Matata from The Lion King? Uh, it means no worries for the rest of your days. You sang a little <laughs> song for us, you guys. I you did. I had to. I had to do it in my head. Out here. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, now name three of the seven dwarfs in Snow White. Uh, dopey, bashful, dog. Yes. Incredible. I don't think I can name all of them. <laughs> your last <laughs> question. This is a hard one. Okay. What is the name of the fashion designer in the Incredibles movie? Edna Mode. <laughs> you got them all. You got them all. Six <laughs> points. Very, very impressive, Julianne. When we come back from the break, we will be playing more Disney 100 themed games that you won't want to miss. Stay tuned because Hollywood Headlines will be right back. Welcome back to Hollywood Headlines. As you may know, many Disney movies are remembered for their iconic soundtracks and memorable music scenes. Julianne. What's your all-time favorite Disney movie soundtrack? Disney movie? Okay, I have to go with Tarzan. Tarzan? Yeah. What? Yeah. Why? Um, I wasn't expecting Phil that Collins? <laughs> okay. Phil Collins? I don't know. Yeah? I, I, the Tarzan sound, the movie has also, like just like Princess and the Frog, a very special place in my heart. Right. Um, but whenever I listen to the Tarzan soundtrack, it just like, I don't know, sends me way back. I really like it. Like, you'll be in my heart. Okay, I understand. I get That's it. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> like trash in the camp. With the you know what? I, I didn't realize so many good ones were from there. Yeah. I'm a Lion King fan. And the, the Beauty and the Beast um, Easter egg. What do you mean? In the in trash in the camp, the Mrs. Potts tea set is something. You're that kidding. They, yeah. We have a Disney expert here, you guys. <laughs> wow. You know okay. that? I'm gonna go rewatch Tarzan after this. You should. It's a good movie. <laughs> We're glad you're a music fan because our next game is Finish the Lyrics. I will say a few words to the well-known Disney movie song, and your response must be the exact words that follow. But we made it easier for Jules here. These songs will only be from movies with Disney princesses. You'll have only five seconds to finish the phrase. Feel free to sing if you want. Do okay. Whatever. Okay, okay. All right, here's your first phrase. It's time to see what I can do. It's time to see what I can do? Mm-hmm. I have no idea. <gasps> I'm so shocked at myself. You're going to be upset. I'm going to be so upset. It. It's because you're saying it. You're not singing it. I That's know. the hard part. Yeah, we make it tricky here. How see what I can do? It's been way over five seconds. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm going to tell you. It's time to see what I can do. Yeah, I'm going to be mad because I do know it. To test the limits and break through. No rights, no wrongs, no rules for me. Uh, I agree. I think Okay, you. okay, okay. Let Actually. <laughs> All right, that's okay. We have Should've more. We have one. more. Your next okay. one is legs are required for dancing. Legs yes. are required for dancing. Well, you're going to have a point. Why? Jumping, dancing. Jumping, oh. dancing. You're going to have a point. Walking around on the hook. 
Are you going? Okay, wait. Your hey. voice is beautiful. Oh, thank he you. He gets a whole point for that. <laughs> <laughs> your third one is every turn I take, every trail I track. Every path I make, every road leads back yes! to the place I know where I cannot go, where I long to be. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> All right, your last one is going to be tranquil as a forest. Uh, it's a hard one. Is this from Mulan? Yes. Tran it's like Man of You? Yes. Tranquil as a forest. For forest. <laughs> forest. <laughs> tranquil as a forest. With a fire within. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you got something it. like that. Our music I love dance. Mulan too. That's, that's a good one. That was also very <laughs> impressive, Julian. I think we may have found our next Disney princess, you guys. Stay tuned because the Hollywood headlines will be right back. We're on to the last Disney 100 game of the night, and it's arguably our hardest one. Let's play. Who said that? Julianne, you'll be given a phrase from a popular Walt Disney Company movie or show. Your objective is to guess who said the quote, but here's the catch. You will only get the question correct if you can give the correct first name of the character and the correct title of the movie or the show. You will not get a point if both are not identified. What? Can't you think you can do it? It'll be good. It'll be fun. You'll know it. Okay, okay. Once you get the character, you'll know where it's from. I promise. Okay. I All believe right. you. Your first phrase is Ohana means family. Stitch said that in um, Lilo and Stitch. Correct. Already done. Yeah. To infinity and beyond. That is Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Some people are worth melting for. That's my buddy Olaf from Frozen. Yes. <laughs> Three points already done. This one is a little bit harder. I knew you'd come back. I saved your shadow for you. That is Wendy. Peter Pan? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> last one. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. Big summer blowout. Oh my gosh. What's his name? Yes. His name is Hart. Oaken. Oaken. From Frozen. Yes. The, the guy with the, the hut. Absolutely. Or, you yeah. did it. And he sells, <laughs> I no, rope. Yes. <laughs> that was it. Well done, Julian. Last year got it tough. I have one more bonus question for you. Do you think you're up for it? Sure. Okay. There's a hint. This person is actually not a Disney character. Okay. Who said, laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, and dreams are forever? I'm going to guess Walt Disney. Correct. Yay. <laughs> Good job. Thank Leanne. you. Also known as Lottie. Yes. Of course. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's all we have for tonight, but make sure to come back next week for the latest news in Hollywood. A big thank you to Julianne Meekly for coming to today's show. I'm Tamari Clark. Have a great weekend, Millersville.